Hi, I'm Nick, and I'm going to take you through some of the features on this 7 Series instrumentation camera. OK, let's talk about the front of the camera first of all. On here we have a removable lens mount, which allows us to fit many different kinds of lenses to this camera. We can fit a Nikon F mount, we can fit a Nikon FG mount, with an automated iris and we would then adjust the iris via a control on the side. We can also fit a Canon EF mount for remote focus and iris control. Or we can fit a C mount for those lower resolution, higher frame rate users. OK, moving to the side panel, you can see here we have the optional XSSD side panel installed, which gives us some extra features. We have an additional HDSDI output here, which gives us three in total. We have a 1.5 amp 12 volt accessory output. And then we have the XSSD. And so we can then use that to record from the memory of the camera down to the XSSD. We do this, once we're done, we can then just open the flap and pull that card out and we have one terabyte of storage. This can be simply plugged into a USB port on your computer and then all the information downloaded. So this is a really nice, useful, portable feature. This is available in 500 gig or one terabyte storage. So let's now look at the rear of the camera. We have two HDSDI outputs. We have a HDMI output. And this allows the use of a much more commonly available computer monitor or TV. We then have USB 3, which allows the camera to download from its internal memory down to a USB stick or a hard drive. The camera can then be controlled via 1 gigabit Ethernet, and this is via the included Control 1 software or via the CDUE touchscreen device. This next connector is for development use and future uh, expansion. And then we have the iCheck LEDs. These are new from our iSpeed 3 range in the fact that they're now 360, so you can now see them all the way around the camera. And they give vital information about the status of the camera. We'll show the details of that in another video. Then we move down to the intake of the camera, which has a filtration system that can be removed cleaned and then reapplied to the camera. At the base of the camera, inside, is a twin one hour full operation battery. And this allows you to have control, record, play and save all purely on battery ru uh, running control. We then have the power switch. We have the power input, which is 12 volts to 36 volts at approximately 150 watts. We have a dedicated trigger input that allows you to use a closed switch, a relay, or a five volt TTL signal. And then we have the feature lead connector, which allows you to get access to many other signals like sync or trigger, for example. So hopefully that gives you an overview of the camera and gives you a good idea as to what's available on this series of cameras. Thank you.